they have chosen for their path and what they're choosing at this very moment. And, um, you know, some of these people have a, 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 are choosing a, a road that they're going to get a lot of experience out of. But I know, you know, I've noticed this many places, if you bring up the idea of metaphysics or, you know, New Age or something, they say, oh, I don't believe in that. But sure. in the next sentence, they'll say, but, you know, I did have this strange experience one time, or my mother was psychic and my grandmother could see things. They usually have a story like that, even though they claim they don't believe in it. Sure, and especially from many of their ancestors. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh -huh. These abilities are just coming back. They oh, yeah, that's what I found. Sure. They're being increased in sure. them right now. I agree. And they are, people are realizing they're there. They actually have always been there. They just have ignored them. Agreed. That's correct. Now we're beginning to get in touch with it again. I agree. That's, and that's the beauty. That's what I'm finding out in my work, that it's time that we bring all of this back. That's right. It's very much needed now with all the materialism and everything that's going on right now. Well, it's, in the end, it's responsibility. And what else is love? What do you mean by responsibility? Well, love carries with it its own flavor of responsibility, doesn't it? Yeah. And that means that people need to come together. Uh -huh. uh, unify, stop the wars, stop believing in all the... The, the negative energies and, and really start taking responsibility back for who they are uh -huh. and what that means. Well, that's what I've been getting in my work late, lately, you know, because I get so much information to the people that I work with. Yes. It comes through and they keep saying, they, you know, whether I know the people that come, they, whoever it is that comes through, they keep saying, you've got to stop living in fear. Yes, and correct. The TV, the newspapers, everything that's happening is just accelerating fear, and you have you can't live in that emotion. It's negativity, and you have to. Well, you can, but it's going to be difficult to keep living in it. Oh yeah, because we're exposed to it. We can't get out of the world situation. Well, well, exactly. And the truth is that the energies are coming, like it or not. And the change is coming, like it or not, because change really is the only constant. Yes, and if we're already in the middle of it. We're in the middle of it, and it's just going to get uh, deeper and deeper. More and more change is going to occur. It'll, it'll catapult, I think. And um, will be to those that have continued, I think, along a very, very, very self-serving path. But, but, but a lot of it is kind of like a weeding out process, I guess you would say. Sure. We have to... Separate the wheat from the chaff. Yeah, we have to go over to the love energy, the positive energy. That's right. And in my books on Jesus, I talked about that, that he was only trying to show people how they were supposed to live, how they were supposed to get off the wheel of karma. And this was by loving everyone. And in those days, that was a very radical form of teaching. But he said if you had love, then there would be no wars, there would be no violence, and we would live in a world like we were supposed to live in to get away from it. Yes, I, I agree. I think. I'm also finding, too, I keep saying, it's the world getting rid of its last bits of karma with all the violence and wars we're having. Sure. Because the earth is a living being. Because it's healing. That's why and this stuff's going. It is going through its uh, last parts of karma. It has to do this before we can change to the new earth. That's right. Every and uh, so many people are caught up into this negativity, but it is only a temporary thing. Mm -hmm. And it will pass, and then we will go into the new earth of a thousand years of peace, and probably even longer. But that's the information I'm getting, anyway. Yes. But well, it seems very serious when we're in it. You know, we can't ignore it, but yet it is not. The, people, the world is not going down, you know, because of all the, the violence and the wars. It's just getting rid of these last little 
bits that it has to work through. Yes. It's like anything else, when you're in the middle of any uh, thing that's happening in your life, it seems bad, you know, it seems hard to deal with. But then afterwards, you can look back on it and you can see it from a whole different perspective. You know, when we're in the middle of anything that's going on in our life, it, uh, it, it's hard for us to, to see it objectively. I agree. You know what I mean? Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, the beautiful part is that peace is the flavor. And not only is it the flavor, but um, everything that, that is healing, it's all healing. Everybody, if you look at something and, it, and, it's, and it's rubbing you the wrong way, your politics or anything else, it's all a matter of healing. It's all healing in front of your eyes. Just bless it and continue uh, projecting love into it. Okay. Uh, can you make a little adjustment if the sound is kind of a little bit distorted? Sure. You've got it. Let's see. Hey, you've got the buttons there. How's that? Is that better? Oh, okay. It, it might be, but how's that? some of your words were distorted. Okay, bear with me. How, okay. How's that? That sounds a little better. Okay. Does that sound a little better? Or? That, that's better. Okay. Okay, Don, you could say uh, you wanted to talk about some of your own experiences. Were these metaphysical experiences or spiritual or what? Well... You know, I've had, I've had so many experiences lately. I, I, I guess we're all going through it. I don't think I'm and unique. I think we're all hitting triggers at different times throughout the last few years. Some of us sooner than others. I think we're now I'm hitting triggers. Many other people are hitting triggers of awakening. There are little um, points in their life that they agreed. Do I think prior to, to getting here, and, and some of them are coming at them in a rush in order to help people awaken to their their purpose here. Yeah. And so that process I see is going on in me at a very extreme rate, and it's interesting. A very many unusual experiences occurring. Uh -huh. Um. <sighs> Boy, I mean, there, there, it's just so many. It, it, well, did something happen in your life that started you in this direction, or this belief system? Yes, but that was about 14 years ago. 13 or 14 years ago. You want to talk about that? Well, I didn't know what it meant at the time, but... We very seldom do when we're in the middle of it. Yeah, well, I was driving home from work and I was very depressed um, a very deep kind of depression um, that something my life was backwards it was very profound anyways before I got home I pulled over on the side of the road and put my head down between my knees and I, I prayed uh -huh. But I didn't really pray. I was, I guess, I was in touch with. Some, I was just so distraught. My life felt so wrong, and a white, like cloud, descended over the car. But it was perfect white. A and white it, cloud? Yeah, it was like this white everything. Hmm, okay. And it starts, you know, it, it, it descended over the roof of my car. You could, you could literally look up and watch it descend over the top of the car and into the car and over my head when it got past my eyes I could see nothing but white it kept going down to the floorboards oh and it was an interesting feeling one that I it's hard to express it's just very peaceful very loving very profound you knew that everything would be okay it was in, it was intense um it was eternal and Gosh, I don't know. I'd like to go there back. I'd like to go back. But <laughs> then when this feeling left, it, the, I, I watched. Because remember, I, at this point, I'm looking at my hands. I hold them up to my eyes, and I can't see my hands. Oh. See, once the white enveloped, I couldn't see out the dash of the car. I couldn't see anything but white. I couldn't uh -huh. even see my hands. 
which is a little, it wasn't spooky, but it was. But it wasn't, it wasn't scary, though. It, it, I had no fear at all in, that, in, what, in, in what was happening. None, zero, exactly the opposite. Um, it's just interesting. That's the description of it. And then it slowly receded up and out. But no. it, it, you felt different afterwards. No. No. I didn't know what to make of it. Well, I thought you said you felt different after. I after felt different during it. During it, okay. And then after, of course, sure, you're such, you, you've just been hit with such a profound, peaceful, loving, eternal feeling. Yeah. Of that, yeah, of course, it'll change you. I didn't, maybe I, I didn't notice any changes or anything for years. I just, I didn't know what to make of that event. I don't, didn't tell anybody about it for over a decade, longer. Oh, see, because that's a very personal thing. Well, I didn't know what to make of it. Yeah. I didn't, I just followed it. It was just too strange. Well, what about the depression? It, was it lifted after that? I guess you would say no. Because we went into the oil biz and the last legs of it, and it, it got bumpier before it got better, but then it got a lot better. Uh-huh. And yeah, my life changed, but it took another drastic change. Um, not last year, but late the following year. Yeah. Very drastic again, and that was just right out of left field, and I didn't, I just went with it, and it took me to where I am now. Hmm. With one experience after another. Uh-huh. <laughs> from, from UFOs to hovering to seeing them to having them come down and actually you can see them drifting down, semi-solid form to entities in the room to electronic voice projection through the TV, through the radios, uh -huh. um, to seeing energies and seeing clouds move and, and being downloaded and being the strange dreams to psychic readings to every from one thing to the next you name it I don't know of, of, there's very few things that I've heard about in the metaphysical realm that haven't touched me once for some reason it's not like I'm good at it well, it's like I can do any of it twice but, but it always hit me once but that uh, you understand it a lot of people don't don't if they haven't yeah, you got to experience it once, and I've experienced it all once, in, in some form or another, it's, and it seems to be growing exponentially, that's the weird part. Every time I say in my work, I think I've heard it all, well then, uh, I hear something even stranger, so I know there's a lot out there that mm -hmm. we don't know about, you know? Yeah, well, you start, well, exactly, you know, it's, really, in the end, it's about realigning or aligning yourself with your true purpose and then things start to become clearer the veils get thinner your 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 veil is definitely getting thinner for everybody yeah but on top of that those who are really in tune are starting to even you know it's magnifying their abilities yeah because